Hello guys and gals, and welcome. So today is another episode of uh, Brood Words, and uh, we're going to be looking at Chains of Honor today. Chains of Honor is a very, very awesome rune word, and uh, before we go into the game, let's go ahead and read off the statistics. So we have uh, plus two to all skills, which is uh, absolutely amazing to have on an armor, pretty much bar none. 200% uh, damage to demons, 100% damage to undead, and 8% lifesteal, which are all very focused around melee and ranged characters. So uh, if you are a character who does melee and you are a character who does ranged damage, these effects are going to be absolutely amazing for you. 70% enhanced defense, which, while it's not better than the defense that Enigma gives, it's still going to end up with a pretty decent amount of defense, almost about 1,000, depending on the, uh, the base that you put it in. Uh, it gives you plus 20 to strength, which is absolutely amazing to have on an armor. Replenish life 7, which uh, while is not super, super amazing, it's always nice to have a little bit of replenished life to have your uh, your health regenerating. Uh, all resistances 65, which is just an amazing amount of resistances. I mean, that pretty much caps you out normal difficulty and, uh, and really opens up options for other pieces of equipment that you can put on. Damage reduced by 8%, which is uh, absolutely amazing for the uh, the negative physical damage that it gives you. 8% uh, is not an amazing amount all by itself, but if you were to stack this with some other pieces, like for instance, uh, Rockstopper Salet, uh, Verdungos, uh, String of Ears, things like that, you could definitely bring this number up closer to the 50% physical damage reduction cap. Uh, it also throws in a 25% better magic find items. So uh, so very, very nice to have that 25% on there. It certainly wasn't uh, wasn't necessary with how great the armor is, but it's kind of just like the icing on the cake, right? And, um, and let's go to the game here, and we'll take a look at the armor itself. So we have here uh, the Chains of Honor, and, uh, and it is just such an amazing piece of armor that... Um, that you have to look at it in retrospect to Enigma uh, when you're comparing which armor you'd like to go for. So Enigma is absolutely amazing in that it gives you plus two to all skills as well. Um, you get the 45% faster on walk and the plus one to teleport. Now, um, if you don't necessarily need teleport, like say for instance you are a sorceress, you don't need teleport, so you are kind of just looking at that as a mood point. And, uh, and you have to look at some of the other things on Enigma to compare it with Chains of Honor and say, hey, do I would, would I prefer Chains of Honor or would I prefer an Enigma plate? They both have 8% damage reduced by. Um, the Enigma plate does not have any resistances, though, uh, which is an important uh, thing to consider when you're looking at the Enigma plate. So, uh, so when you think about Chains of Honor, think about uh, plus 2 to all skills with 65 res, Whereas when you think about Enigma, think about it plus two to all skills without 65 res. So you have to get your resistances somewhere else when you're looking at Enigma. Um, Chains of Honor also seems to be very specifically pointed at more like melee and ranged characters with the 200% damage to demons, 100% damage to undead, 8% lifesteal. All of those are very melee and ranged orientated modifiers. And they're things that I would like to have like on my Amazon or my, uh, my Vengeance Paladin, or my Zeal Paladin. Like, uh, Chains of Honor just seems like that absolutely amazing plate to have around for, um, you know, actually bashing things with your weapon. And uh, granted, you could always have both if you were a rich bastard. Um, you could have an Enigma waiting in the rings for teleport, and then you could uh, swap to Chains of Honor when you're actually doing your real combat. Um, the magic find on Enigma is obviously a little bit better with 99%, but 25% is hardly anything to shake a stick, stick at when you're uh, building magic find on some of your other pieces as well. Um, as long as you can hit around 200%, usually you'll still be finding some pretty sweet equipment. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. And, um, you know, it does also have strength on it, whereas Enigma has even more strength. So it has 74 strength when you hit level 99. Uh, whereas Chains of Honor has that 20 strength bonus just just on it base which is which is kind of nice to have but obviously enigma beats it out as far as plus to strength is concerned and uh, and when you're looking at the two armors it's really just a toss-up of what you specifically need um, as a sorceress i feel like the teleport is a mood point and uh, the all resistance is 65 seems like a much sexier option um, however it really comes down to what you specifically need um, I think Chains of Honor is good on just about any character you want to put it on, to be honest. Um, it's it's really one of those armors that's just like, okay, that'd be good. I, mean, I certainly wouldn't turn down a Chains of Honor on a Paladin, a Sorceress, a Necromancer, 
a druid, a barbarian, an assassin. Like it, it's it's just an all around amazing armor. And yes, while some of the caster types are not going to get the bonuses of the damage to undead and the life steal, um, you know, it does it really matter? Because all the rest of the effects on Chains of Honor are really just so amazing that it, it hardly even matters. Um, or maybe you're just one of those people who hates Enigma and, uh, and you think Enigma has ruined the game and you would just rather use something else other than Enigma. Chains of Honor is certainly a, a really solid option for those people. Um... I personally don't specifically need the teleport on most of my characters. I actually prefer walking and enjoying the game. And uh, and for the teleport that I do use, I usually just end up using an amulet or a, a circulate of some kind to uh, to get me some teleport. Uh, it's it's really not that big of a deal because uh, as a necromancer, I like to walk around and click on all the boxes and baskets and chests and, and everything in the world, hoping for that, that random Zod rune to pop out of, of a skeleton and, uh, and, you know, it's, it's happened before, so... Who, who are you to judge me, sirs? Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Rune Words. I know it was a short one, but there's really not a lot to say about an armor that's this amazing. It's, uh, it's just... Are you going to choose this, or are you going to choose an Enigma Plate? Um, you know, what is, uh, what is specifically your requirements? Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.